The wh &S program isn't something you set up overnight. We put in a hell of a lot of resources in our teams. We've got staff members from each area of the business involved. We have regular meetings. Now the infrastructure behind that is not insignificant, it requires some time, it requires some effort. It's not easy and you do have to train people and it does take time and it takes a lot of repetition but you do get there. I think basically keeping the communication open is the key and then having a system in place to facilitate that communication so it's received as fast as possible and can be actioned on as fast as possible. We have a group of generally more of our senior staff that sort of get together at times just to go over issues that may have arisen. Observation is critical in maintaining safety. Things tend to change over time um, and things can become relaxed over time and it's important that uh, someone who has a degree of control walks in and just takes an observational role. And so we've got a, a number of policies and procedures that not only we have to follow but that all our contractors, suppliers when they come to site or anyone visiting site or even anywhere around, they still have to adhere to that same, those same rules and guidelines. We do regularly check in with our regular contractors that they've got up to date policies and procedures just to ensure that everyone's on the same page and moving in the same direction. So also it's uh, officer's duty to, to provide resources to their staff, which could be appropriate tools. We're always investing in new equipment. We have engineers or we have trainers in from the, from the manufacturers who supply this equipment and all of our staff are trained step by step and, uh, and it reduces the, the chances of any risk of you know, injury to our staff. We've had information and training sessions with both uh, government associations and our uh, industry body to bring us up to speed with requirements for safety, how to put together a team, how to prepare and keep proper documents to maintain the system. Subscribe to lots of newsletters, um, indus industry newsletters. They're usually a really good source of information. Being busy, I don't get time to sort of look at all the latest um, literature on health and safety coming through so it's great to have that private specialist company who can always keep us up to date. They've got their finger on the pulse and they can let me know what's new and what needs doing and so we then up to date in turn. It makes me feel more secure as the owner of the business knowing that uh, I'm doing the best to keep my staff safe. WH has always seemed something that was just too much hard work. Having done it is probably one of the best things we've done for our organisation rather than being a pain, it's now part of what we do. We have nothing without our staff so it's so important that we look after them and the environment they work in is as safe as it possibly can be.